Okay, I've never been more happy to be surprised. I am not prepared for this and I'm not streaming right now, but I have to talk about it. Donald Trump's mugshot from the Georgia Rico case has dropped. First ever presidential mugshot to ever happen in the history of the United States and hopefully not the last. Take a look at this. Uh, for, uh, after taking a two year long hiatus for, you know, God knows what, uh, Donald Trump has returned to Twitter for the first uh, for his first ever post to post his own mugshot. Look at that. Look at look at my boy mean mugging. Oh, no. Look, he's trying to he thinks he's a gangster. He's like, hey, hey, I'm a criminal here. Hey, I could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue. It's, apparently that was incorrect. Apparently he. Well, uh, he could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and not lose any votes, but he couldn't shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and get away with it. That's a much different thing because my man is in jail. He's trying to fundraise off of this mugshot. August 24th, 2023, election interference, never surrender. Um, just so you know, this picture was taken right after he surrendered to Georgia police. <laughs> never surrender unless you're legally obligated to. Then it's OK, because we don't want to get in trouble. We don't want to get in trouble, everybody, okay? Don't get hurt. We love you. Go home. You're very special. And obviously, Elon is eating this one up. This black sister supports you from the hood to the white house. <laughs> what the? What the fuck? Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, the, the hood loves... Uh, the streets are saying that uh, the hood loves Mr. Trump. Look at my African-American over there. Look at him. Just look at him. Uh, take a look at this real quick. Uh, the more, a more popular image than the Mona Lisa. We want to put it on a T-shirt. We will go worldwide. It will be more popular. It will be a more popular image than the Mona Lisa said. A 30 year old. Oh, damn. They put her age there, too. Laura Loomer. Dude, Laura Loomer looks crazy these days. Have you seen her? I don't know. There's something. Um, wait, I, 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 I have to show you because this just makes absolutely no sense. She looks so she looks so peculiar. She looks so strange these days. Especially from how she used to look. It's just I don't know, wait. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. After her life being completely destroyed. This this is her now. Dude, they're putting they're putting God, they're putting something in the water. They're putting something in the water uh, in Florida because I don't know what it was. It was this DeSantis's plan. Is he putting like <laughs> small toxins in the water in Florida that give people weird looks? Because, you, you know, someone with that Florida phrenology, she's got that Florida phrenology. I'd pull up my freaking dial calipers to take a look at that skull because there's something going on there. We should look, take a look. Not today, though. Judge Scott McAfee set the trial date uh, for October 23rd for one of Trump's 18, uh, sorry, for one of Trump's 18 co-defendants, attorney Keith Chesbro, after uh, Fulton County District attorney Fenny Willis po uh, post, sorry, uh, proposed that date response to his speedy trial um, motion. Uh, nobody else wants a speedy trial. Nobody else wants to get out of this as fast as possible. Everybody's trying to look through their bag for the homework that they didn't do <laughs> to try to get out of this one. Okay, sure. I would want to get out of this as soon as possible. If that's just me, I take a plea deal and I cry in the, I cry in the basement. Um, if I could, but that's just me bros facing 13 felony counts in the Georgia case, including racketeering, which is typically used to target organized crime. I would say that they're very clearly organized crime. If I'm going to be completely honest, I, was, I wasn't even thinking about hitting any of them with a RICO case. But now that I'm looking at all of the facts um, back, yeah, this is organized crime. Donald Trump and his lawyers and pseudo lawyers and people who were a part of his just crew and loved him all banded together to lie, cheat, steal the uh, about the election to try to proposition courts to overturn the election, to try to find extra votes and push people to commit crimes against the uh, people of the United States with one of the most important things that we could ever have as Americans, which is our elections. That's one of the only reasons why this country is still standing today. 
it, our our free our free and fair elections even though free it does not pertain to money and fair does not pertain to money <laughs> um or re name recognition or the ability to get on the ballot or uh, lots of other things right slavery is still real in the country but we're further ahead than a lot of other countries in the world and it's a big reason for why we'll stay we'll, we're still here and if the, if anything needs to be protected in this country that's it that's it and i'm just tired of pretending that these people actually care about the nation they are the most un-american people to ever exist they're trying to overturn our elections they don't care about any of your actual freedoms they'll do anything take anything and manipulate the constitution or our laws and rights and freedoms for their own gain to take and steal until until the even facade of this country being free and fair is completely gone for their own twisted definition of reality because everything they don't like is fake news everything they don't like is woke and must be destroyed everything they don't like is grooming and is evil and what are we supposed to do with people like that what are we supposed to do with fascists except for just get rid of them to show them that they're not welcome, to show them that they're vying for power to force other people into subjugation will not work. There's nothing we can do besides that, because that's the only thing that we have. And we need to stop them before they go too far. It needed to stop. It needed to stop a long time ago. And it's looking pretty good for that at the moment. Here's Donnie right after he got uh arrested and he surrendered in one of the worst jails in all of georgia look at the video that we uploaded today or the one previous to this video if you're not watching on the day of this release to check that out because i promise you you'll want to see it it's pretty bad um you can see what he experienced in there we're not going to talk about that today but we'll talk about this oh no not this little one I really believe this is a very sad day for America. This should never happen. If you challenge an election, you should be able to challenge an election. I thought the election was a rigged election. A stolen Listen, if you want to challenge an election, there are ways for you to do that. You could literally just go through the normal method where you ask for a recount and you ask for things to be checked. They didn't do that. Instead, they instead they were working to get him more votes. They were trying to put in fake electors. They raided. They they had an entire rally to overturn the election. They took this, the Supreme Court and in order to do what they did in Florida to Al Gore to do to Joe Biden and America on the presidential level. So they put so they put like Kavanaugh worked was a, was a lawyer that helped overturn the election in Georgia for Bush over Gore. And he's on the Supreme Court now. That's what they were trying to do. I, we're going to be doing like a full video on this at some point in time. Like how long this effort by the Republicans to usurp the rule of law has been. Um, because, it's been in, because it's been in the machinations ever since um, the 1964 Civil Rights Act was, uh, was, 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 was put in. And then Dobbs um, made it even uh, sped things up. And then we saw a, a little inkling of what they've been planning for a long time in Florida, and they stole that election. And now they were trying to do it again, but even more blatantly, but they went too far this time. They didn't have enough groundwork done. People are waking up and starting to understand what they're doing now. People are pushing against it now. And so they had to, and so they weren't fully prepared, so they had to run it anyways. But three justices on the Supreme Court right now worked in Florida to over uh, Republicans worked in Florida to overturn the election and they were rewarded with federal justice seats and then they were rewarded with Supreme Court seats and that's why they're there now and that's why they're um and, and that's why in just 20 years you go from some rinky dink lawyer to being a Supreme Court justice on the United States Supreme Court that's how that happened that's why these people came out of nowhere that's why all of them are almost completely unqualified to actually be there almost none of them have done public defense almost none of them have uh, uh have 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 done anything for your average human being they went to harvard 
they were they were in a law firm and then they cozied up to the RNC and now they're basically ruling as unelected leaders of the country um, to take us into a fascist uh, Christian theocratic um, uh, totalitarian uh, just possibly even dictatorship that they would love to put through. But this one this one was a step too far. He couldn't help himself. Stolen election, and I should have every right to do that. As you know, you have many people that you've been watching over the years do the same thing, whether it's Hillary Clinton or Stacey Abrams or many others. Yeah, they didn't try when and steal you, uh, the election. you have that great freedom to challenge, you have to be able to, otherwise you're going to have very dishonest elections. What has taken place here is a travesty of justice. We did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. And everybody knows that I've never had such support. And that goes with the other ones, too. What they're doing is election interference. They're trying to interfere with an election. There's never been anything like it in our country before. This is their way of campaigning. And this is one instance, but you have three other instances. It's election interference. Dude, how in the world can you sit here and say election interference when you literally proposition your vice president to overturn the election for you? For you, you literally, it's just, the, the, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's cognitive cognitive dissidence. I don't know if it's simply just them being evil. I at, at this point in time, I'm not sure. I just think I, I'm starting to be I, I, like I, I I'm usually like oh don't put malice where stupidity belongs. But at this point, I think it's malice and stupidity, and it's a lot of malice and a lot of stupidity, but probably more malice. Um, but it's just an overwhelming deluge of malice that, uh, that they're trying to do here. Just the, the playing with words is so evil. Playing with people's emotions is so evil. I'm just glad that it's backfiring and a large portion of Republicans never want to vote again because they think that, because now they think that every single election is being ruled by Hillary Clinton and Kamala Harris and Obama, uh, with the ghost of Hugo Chavez, with a uh, voting machines, with, uh, uh, with voting machines with bamboo fibers in them because they were put together by evil uh pan uh, by evil pandas in 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 in, in, in china over the direct oversee uh, oversight of xi jinping for the communist uh people's party and cuba's working against them in Canada's working against them and the and the people in the swamp are working against them the news is working against them Everyone's working against them. Everyone is fake news. Everyone's part of a conspiracy. Everyone's trying to stop me. And so what's the point of even voting anymore? Because the Republicans don't believe that the COVID vaccine is going to turn you into, an, into a goddamn alligator. And the lockdowns weren't the first step in a massive authoritarian plot to take away your church. Most of them don't believe in climate change. Most of them don't like most of them believe that 30 percent of America is the filled with trans people. And they'll and it'll rub off and trans your gender of your child. Like what do we most of them believe that uh, Mexicans are going to completely overrun America and then instead of saying hello, we're going to say hola. I'm going to have to walk to Walmart and then the person at, 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 at the store who greets me, the 80 year old who's not allowed to retire because uh, they never had enough money to be able to actually get there. And they never were able to go to college because they never went to a family that was able to go to college because they've just been they've been hit with generational poverty, some of which that their family has never actually been able to recover from the Great Depression. And they say, hola. And they fall to their knees, they fall to their knees and cry about the country they lost. Hi, Stingo. So I want to thank you for being here. We did nothing wrong at all. And we have every right, every single right to challenge There's a perfect election call. that we think is I did nothing wrong. that we think it's very dishonest. So thank you all very much, and I'll see you uh, very soon. Thank you very much. No, 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 no questions. And after this, he did, you know what he did? You know he's having a bad day because right after this he had to fly to New Jersey. He had to fly to New Jersey. New Yorker getting booked in Georgia and then having to fly to New Jersey right after. Good Lord. What a sad state of existence. And that's what he deserves that and far more for what he attempted to do and what he did to do to this country. The people whose lives have been destroyed because of him. 
the conspiracy theories that he pushed, the people who died because he wouldn't handle COVID correctly, the people who now are lost in a sea of conspiracy because he couldn't handle losing an election and he couldn't handle winning an election either because he definitely won much more than Hillary Clinton because three million illegals voted. The types of disdain, the disdain that I have for this man is something that I can barely even contain at this moment in time. But I will say this. He deserves all this pain. He belongs in jail. Talk shit, get hit. Fuck around. Find out. Thanks for watching, everyone.